So welcome to Tix Invest, where we talk about investing, finance, pressure development. For today's video, it is Tim Zoli. The best thing I'm going to talk about today would be Ethereum ticket ETH. I know it's my second video that I'm posting again today. I posted at 10 o'clock on the Eastern time earlier today. But I want to come back again during my lunch break. I know it's like 3.45 p.m. right now, and I'm having lunch in such a late time frame. However, with respect to Ethereum, as I'm looking at the chart again, it's up about 8.1% at the moment, trading around like 2000 $125. So I did a little bit of investigation, look at what are the catalysts that's driving this pump that we're seeing right now. Because like it's not really dry, it's kind of driving an outlier into the trends right now. And the catalyst that I've identified so far is mainly coming from two things. One is the Squawk Box news that we heard from CNBC earlier today with respect to Jim Cramer deciding to buy Ethereum at the price point that we're at currently. And with respect to his depictions on the news media affectation so far, it seems like he's preferring uh, you know, Ethereum over Bitcoin, which is driving a lot of surging pressure across the board, up about 8% on Ethereum, and respectively, Bitcoin is only up about 0.15% at the moment. And another news catalyst that we heard earlier today as well was with respect to the B-Word Summit that I told you guys in my previous videos already, you know, with respect to Jack Dorsey's debate versus Kathy Wood versus Elon Musk, and we're going to be here basically one month out, right? So obviously, one is a direct correlation effects to the Ethereum price point. The second one is more like a pseudo foreshadow catalyst for the affectation going forward as well, which is driving the affectation that we're seeing in the technical analysis right now. So I'm going to come back to the technical analysis again to see how is this trend going forward right now? Are we going to see more of a sell-off coming? Or are we going to see more of a pump to go all the way up to the $2,250 level in the near future? So stay tuned, stick around, let's make some money. quickly go over the technical analysis for Ethereum ticket ETH again. You can see that currently we are pumping up right now. We broke through the reversal from that $1750 level that I identified in the previous videos and subsequently breached up to the $1860 level again, right? Which you see that little bit of a gap escalator. And then subsequent to that, we pump all the way above the $2000 level, right? And you heard earlier from my previous video that we were hovering around like the $2,000 level, right? Which was obviously a Herculean task to break through the $2,000 level already. However, we leap up and that's why we're pumping all the way up to the next level of 2150 2120 I'm, you know, like $25 discount at the moment right now, right? And the reason is because of the James Kramer news that we heard, right? He decided to buy Ethereum for the first time. And secondly, he prefers Ethereum over Bitcoin, obviously with this depictions and his preferential treatment, frankly, is obviously driving some buying pressure, which is why we're up about 7.7%. And relatively speaking, we are Bitcoin's only up about 0.06% right now, so it's relatively flat. In relatively speaking, you could see that uh, on the equity market, relatively green today. So in the opposite spectrum, we should be seeing some sort of like flat or you know minimal type of pump uh, or sell off in the crypto market. We should be kind of static or neutral today. However, with the the, the black swan news that we heard earlier today, it's going to drive this purchasing power in the dynamic Ethereum right now, right? So right now you can see that on the MACD, we are basically crossing upward. So I do see a little bit more of a momentum push up from here. However, with respect to the $2,150, that's a relatively strong level of you know resistance that I should foresee that we might be bouncing off. And I think we have already tested that earlier today uh, you know, in a glimpse of moment and subsequently kind of rebounding, reverse downward right now because like we have a propensity to do so ever since we hit that resistance wall. We just kind of have to bounce back to slowly neutralize and consolidate until we have another cast to pump up, right? So with respect to the MACD, I do see more of a bullish pressure. I think we have a high propensity to push up above the 2150 and maybe potentially go above that and go all the way to the 2250 and then slowly come back down because of the fact that the RSI is highly overbought. Not, not highly overbought, but we have a more high propensity to be overbought at the moment. That we need to like kind of cool off a little bit, right? And in the ideal situation would be sell off a little bit and then retest back to the $2,000 level. So by that time, the RSI will be kind of deplete down back to here, right? The normalized, normalized level. And at the same time, the MACD would be subsequently fusing together to the point that we will have another pump that will cross back upward. And then we'll be leaping all the way to the 2,250 and then up, up and away to the 2,450 and then up, up and away to the 2,750 all the way to the $3,150 level. Those are the level of resistance that we should be leaping up to, right? We, we don't ever just stay between the lines. We always go 
you know, up to the resistance point or the floor or the, the ceiling or the floors, right? So those are the levels I would be mindful of uh, as we are gauging. Would I be buying today? I think the news was already baked in, so I would not suggest buying it today right now because of the fact that, you know, the news was already adjusted for the price point that we see in front of us. Um, so I would kind of wait off until we hit back down to the $2,000 level or the $1,950 level that I identified earlier today because that's a more of a, you know, risk averse level that I personally feel more comfortable buying in rather than just chasing the pump. But you never want to just chase the pump because, oh, oh my God, I feel like I'm missing out, right? You always want to buy at the logical level based on your analytical chart and understanding the supply and demand di dynamics of the chart itself, right? So that's the level to buy at. I would not chase the pump. But for those that bought at the 1750, you know, with respect to the self that we're having consecutively in the past two weeks so far, congratulations to you. This is amazing level. I wouldn't mind actually taking some profit today because of this news on confirming on the dynamics that we're seeing so far on this reversal. So, um, but ultimately do not be greedy. Do not be chasing the pump at the moment because the setup right now, we are kind of having a mixed signal between the RSI and MACD right now that the propensity for us to push up a little bit more would be high. However, I think the risk reward ratio would be, you know, I think, you, you, do you want to gain maybe 50 bucks of gains or do you want to lose 100 bucks of losses, right? So I think you want to probably weigh it out by going back down to the 2000 and then buy up from there level. So just to recap all the numbers again, I know I'm being so annoying again, I'm like doing the same thing over and over again. With respect to the current level, I think, you know, we are about the $2,150, but in the more risk averse perspective, knowing the fact that this is kind of like a black swan driven event with the Jim Cramer news that we heard earlier today on Squad Box, that I feel more comfortable buying at the $1,950 level because the risk reward ratio is just a lot better at that level. Do we see 1860 in the near term? I don't think so. I think that's a rare occasion. But depending on the weekend affectation that we'll be seeing in the next, you know, you know, by the end of this week, we might get there. However, I don't see this in the next three, two to three days at the moment right now. Do we see 1750? I think, you know, I think the probability at this near future, well, in the next five days will be rel relatively minimal. So a level to be hoped for, but I think we have already had you know, a, a relatively good consecutive weeks uh, for us to buy at these levels already, right? So um, did we miss the bus? We might a little bit, but we might get back to this level contingent on no more Black Swan news that we'll be hearing in the future. But, you know, 1950, that's the optimal level that I would be buying at. So that's it for there. Respect my technical analysis again on Ethereum. Hopefully this is helpful in giving more clarity and an update on the transparencies of how the media application is applying to the market dynamics that we see in front of us. Please, you know, feel free to hit the subscribe and also the bell notification and, you know, comment below and ask me any questions if you have. I'm always relatively responsive. Appreciate it again and stay tuned for the next video coming up. Take care. Bye.